This is a Nobel Prisera system training. In lab scanning of implant bar overdenture. Mount the reference jig on the base model holder. Fasten the locking screw on the jig and ensure that it is tightened securely. Ensure that the reference spheres are clear of dirt or optical spray before scanning. Attach the appropriate non engaging model position locators to the corresponding implant replicas in the model by screwing them in clockwise. Mount the model in the model holder of the scanner. Tighten the locking screw and check the stability of the model to ensure that it does not move at a later stage of the scanning process. The model needs to be orientated so that the tops of the model position locators are close to level. Turn the black dial under the model holder to lock into position. Left click on the scan button in the Nobel Prisera software. Start by filling out the case information. Left click on Implant under Object Type. An implant select box will then appear. Choose the correct implant platform and size and then click on OK. Select the implant positions in the tooth chart that represents the correct tooth positions on your model by left clicking with your mouse. If there are additional implant types present on the model, these will need to be selected. Left click and the implant select box will then reappear. Choose the correct implant platform and size, and then click on OK. Once all the implant positions have been placed on the tooth chart, the next step is to establish the bar span. Left click on Bar. Left click on the tooth posterior to the first implant on the tooth chart. While holding the left mouse button down, drag the bar through to the tooth in the posterior position of the last implant. Releasing the left mouse button at this point will place a bar in the tooth chart over the top of the implants. Once the bar has been placed on the tooth chart, the next step is to establish the diagnostic scan. Left click on Diagnostic under Object Type. Left click on the most posterior tooth in the quadrant that corresponds with the diagnostic. While holding the left mouse button down, Drag the diagnostic through to the most distal tooth in the other quadrant. Releasing the left mouse button at this point will place a diagnostic in the tooth chart over the top of the bar. Once the scan model has been set up to the scan, the first stage is to scan the model position locators. Left click on Implant Locator in the Scan Manager list located to the top right hand corner of the screen. A series of three small transparent circles accompanied by larger circles will appear on camera view. The larger transparent circles appear with tooth numbers on them. These need to be placed over the top of the corresponding model position locators in the camera view. To position the spheres, left click on the sphere, drag the circle over the top of the position locator, and then release. Place the small circles over the spheres on either the top row or bottom row on the reference jig using the same process. Do not use a combination of both rows. If the spheres on the jig are not visible on the camera view, gently push the table forward until they appear. Once all the scan windows are in position on the camera view, left click on Scan. Once Scan is clicked, a pop-up window will appear, ensuring that the reference jig and position locators are in position. Left click on OK to continue and the scan will commence. Once the scanning has completed, a prompt will appear requesting that all model position locators need to be removed. Carefully remove the model position locators by turning them anti clockwise. It is critical that from this stage onwards, the model is not moved independently to the model holder. When all the locators have been removed, left-click on OK. A box will now appear in the camera view, and this selects the scan area of the model. The next stage in the scanning process is the scanning of the model. If the model has removable soft tissue replication material, this needs to be placed back onto the model carefully.
The box can be positioned or resized by using the left mouse button to drag. Make sure that all the important aspects of the model that are required for the CAD design are recorded at this stage. Place the small circles over the spheres at either the top row or bottom row on the reference jig using the same process. If the spheres on the jig are not visible on the camera view, gently push the table forward until they appear. Once all the scan windows are in position on the camera view, left-click on Scan. A height validation box appears if the height of the object needs to be adjusted. Change the height of the holder until the indicator becomes green. It is okay to change the height since we have the reference spheres on the reference jig. Click on the Retry button. Once the scan is completed, the next step is to scan the diagnostic. Translucent or non-optical scan materials must be sprayed with a CAD spray to ensure that the scanner accurately records the surface. Make sure no sprays end up on the reference jig spheres. The diagnostic must now be placed on the model. It is important to make sure that the diagnostic is placed securely onto the model so that it does not move during the scanning process. Realign the position of the holder so that all areas of the diagnostic is shown. Left-click on Prosthesis in the Scan Manager list located on the top right-hand corner of the screen. An arch scan window will appear in the camera view alongside the three reference jig scanning spheres. The arch scan window can be dragged into position by left-clicking on the dots and dragging them into the required location. The width of the arch scan box can be adjusted by rolling the mouse wheel up or down. Place the small circles over the spheres on either the top row or bottom row on the reference jig using the same process. Once all the scan windows are in position on the camera view, left-click on Scan. If the scan of the model or diagnostic has any data missing, there is an option to add an additional surface scan. Turn the black dial under the model holder anti-clockwise to loosen the holder. Reposition the model holder to expose the area that has the void in the camera view, and then clockwise to lock it into position. Left-click on either full jaw, or in this case, Prosthesis in the Scan Manager list located on the top right-hand corner of the screen. A scan window will appear in the camera view alongside the three reference jig scanning spheres. Reposition the scan window only over the area that is required to be rescanned. Place the small circles over the spheres on either the top row or bottom row of the reference jig using the same process. Do not use a combination of both rows. Once all the scan windows are in position on the camera view, left-click on Overdenture and then click Add Scan. The add scan data that is now recorded will be merged with the original scan to create one complete image. This process can be repeated as many times as needed until the entire object surface is recorded. When the scan is finished, click on the Finish button. Click on Close to start designing your framework.